Hi everyone. Uh, so today is February the 22nd, a Monday of 2016, and I just want to talk to everyone about uh, situations in your life that you might not be able to control, um, and something that is affecting me right now. Uh, so Friday, February the 19th of 2016, I was pulled over by a what I believe was a high rate patrol and I say I believe it was only because it was at night when I had gotten pulled over um, and I, I believe that it was a highway patrol but anyway he gave me my very first first ever speeding ticket um, and if you can tell right now I'm I was I'm crying about it today because I uh, decided today Monday to tell my father and a lot of you might be thinking, well, why did you wait so long to tell him? Um, obviously, you don't want to disappoint your parents. You don't want them to be disappointed in you. And uh, telling them something like that, you know, is, it takes a lot of courage and strength and understanding and patience. Um, and hopefully your parents are understanding. I don't, you know, obviously I, I don't know your, your situation. Um, but I decided to tell my father today but anyway I just kind of want to go through what happened and maybe my situation can help you in in your stress and what you're dealing with and what you're going through because we're all human we all make mistakes and it's important to support each other in what happens in our lives no matter how uh, positive it may be and no matter how negative it may be it's important that we share these thoughts that we share these feelings to remember that we are human we do make mistakes and you know someone else in the world is going through something even worse than what I'm going through right now um, so I just thank God that I'm alive no one got hurt um, no one is injured, no one is dead, it's just a situation that sucks that happened to me. So, Friday night, uh, Friday, I worked a double shift. Um, I work, you know, at a busy restaurant, and I clocked out of work, and I have a copy of my time slip that says I clocked out around 8.54 p.m. at night. And I didn't dilly-dally, I didn't do anything specific other than I got my stuff together, I got in my car, and I started to drive home. Well, uh, on my way home, I was stopped by an officer of the law who said I was speeding. And I do not feel comfortable at this time telling you guys what happened. I will get back to you on that. But um, he said I was speeding. He asked me for my license, but he never asked me for my registration or my insurance, which I thought was kind of weird, but apparently they, if, if they just run your plates, apparently they're allowed to do that and not ask you for your other information. I didn't know that. I thought they were supposed to ask you. Apparently not. So he said, you know, you're, you're speeding uh, and here's your ticket, you know, he didn't say he's gonna he wasn't gonna give me a warning he wasn't gonna let me get out of it and he said you know here's your ticket here's your court date and have a good night and I was like okay you know thank you have a good night bye you know we left the situation and but I was very upset about the situation Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to cook myself something I'm actually trying to force myself to eat because I haven't eaten all weekend I've kind of been in the slump since this whole thing happened um, so tonight I'm just trying to cook something very light and very easy for my stomach to digest because I've been completely off balance this entire weekend. But, um, I was, I was crying. I was very upset about the situation and I went home and I curled up in a blanket and I cried and I didn't even tell my fiance what happened. I was scared to tell him what happened and I was scared to tell my father what happened, but it took me a day to calm down to relax, and I told my fiance what happened the next day. Um, that the night that it happened, I actually left voice messages on several lawyers' voicemails because I wanted to discuss my options with the lawyers. Um, because I've never done this, and I've never been to court before. I've, I've, I'm, you know, I, I've. 
tend to be a very good person. I try not to make mistakes. I try not to do things that are bad. Now, I've been in minor vehicle accidents before. Um, you know, I've, I've been in, uh, you know, innocent accidents. No one was hurt. No one was injured type of accidents. But I've never, ever had something like this happen to me before where I've gotten a speeding ticket. And had, you know, I've never had to really go into court myself and defend myself in court. And court scares me. I'm scared to death of court. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go. So I'm going to talk to an, a lawyer this Thursday and discuss my options with him. Um, and tonight I decided I was going to talk to my dad about it. And again, I was shaken up about it. I haven't been able to really eat all day. And I called my father on the phone. Um, I, I was planning on doing it in person, but I, I was just like, I couldn't do it. Um, so I called him and I said, Dad, this is what happened to me. And my father kind of understood, you know. Uh, you can have a million and one things in your mind going on because your mind will not let you rest. It just tortures you and the worst case scenario keeps playing out in your mind of what's going to happen and how people are going to react. But you you won't know until you try. Other, You know what I mean? Um, hopefully you understand. And um, he was very understanding. He was like, look, things happen. You make a mistake. You own up to that mistake. And... I'm going to handle it as an adult, and he understood that, and he obviously heard how upset I was in myself of what I did, so he said, it sounds to me like you've been beating yourself up about this, and you've put yourself through hell, so I'm not going to do it to you anymore, I'm not going to yell at you, I'm not going to tell you how disappointed I am in you, um, I mean, I understand that he probably is upset, he is a little disappointed, but we're all human beings, and he did not yell at me, and he made me feel a little bit more secure in myself, and he even said that he's going to come with me to the lawyer's office and talk with the lawyer with me. Um, my father even offered to help me pay, but I will tell you this right now, almost no parent ever does that, and I will not let him pay for my mistakes, so I'm going to pay. I'll tell you right now, the lawyer quoted me for about $380 to, to handle this. And the ticket, usually, from what I've heard in the state of North Carolina, can cost upwards to $180. It can be even more than that. But that's like the minimum, I think, that you'll be paying for a speeding ticket in the state of North Carolina is $180, if that's what I understand from what I've heard. Um, so, so, I'm sorry, once again, dinner is cooking. I'm trying to stir that really quick and turn that off. But, um, so, that's what's going on. You know, the the lawyer is, to hire a lawyer is very expensive. To go to court is very expensive. And I understand if you've ever been to court, I don't, I don't know how you've ever done that because it scares me half to death. I don't want to be yelled at. I don't like being yelled at. I don't like to be talked down to by anyone. You know, it, it makes me shrivel up like I'm some sort of a turtle, like I did something terribly wrong, and of course I did. I made a mistake, and I'm going to live with that, unfortunately, uh, for a long, long time, and I've definitely learned my lesson, and I will be a productive, upstanding citizen um, from now on, you know, and hopefully this never happens to me again, and that's half the reason I'm recording this, because I can look back at this and say, look at how set, upset you were, upset, how upset you've gotten yourself, um, you know, everyone is worried about me, because they've asked me what's wrong, you look upset, I haven't been eating right, I haven't been sleeping right, um, I even, I, I, went on the scale the other day to see how much I weighed. I lost two pounds between Friday and Saturday. Two pounds from worrying, from stress on my body, from not eating. Two pounds, people. That is outrageous. You don't do that in, in a day. You, pretty much two days, you lose two pounds from stress. And don't be thinking that if you want to lose weight, you want to do it unhealthy. Do it healthy. Lose weight in a healthy, structured, nutritious way.
Don't lose weight because of stress, because you're not eating, because you're throwing up, whatever. You know, I don't know what's going on in your lives, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just trying to reassure you and say that we've all been there. Um, you think that the moment that you're going through right now is bad, and you, you don't know if it's going to get better, but it will get better. It will get better eventually, and you will get through this. You'll get through whatever it is that you're going through, I hope that you get through this and I will pray for anyone who goes through something like this or even worse than this. Again, we're just human. We make mistakes and we have to learn from these mistakes and we have to grow from these mistakes. So once again, I hope everyone out there is safe. I hope everyone out there is healthy and happy. Remember that people love you. You have people around you and I have Pets, wonderful cats that actually do love me. I don't care if you're not a cat person. I am a cat person and I am a dog person. I'm an animal lover and I have pets and I have friends and I have family, loved ones that love me, that care about me. And um, I might be in a slump right now. I might be depressed right now, but I'll get through this and I will live and I will learn from it and I will grow from it. So once again, Thank you if you stuck with me this long uh, listening to my little rant about life. Um, it's just something that I wanted to record while I had the strength to record it. Um, and I will keep you guys updated on this process because hopefully you'll learn from it and maybe you won't do it. Uh, because this process is going to be long, it's going to be frustrating, and I'm not going to, even though I'm, you know, my father kind of reassured me, my brain is still kind of working against me and putting the worst case scenario in my mind right now. And unfortunately, until that court date appears or until we can get this resolved in the court system, uh, I won't get any good rest and won't get any good sleep and I won't be, I won't calm down until this is resolved. But as you can see, my kitten, Vera, is checking up on me, making sure I'm okay, because that's what happens. Cats and dogs and animals, they know when you're upset, people. So don't you ever think that this, don't take this for granted, really. So once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay positive. I will pray for you. Please pray for me. And we'll get through this together. And if you're going through anything, you want to talk to someone, talk to, talk to me. Or um, talk to your friends, talk to your family. I will upload this on YouTube. And if you need to get in contact with me or you want to uh, talk to me, just comment down below and we will get in touch with each other. Obviously, you don't need to post your what's going on with you publicly. Um, I don't want you to do that if you're not comfortable with it. But if you want to talk with someone, there's great sites out there that you can talk with complete strangers for free. They won't judge you. But just look into it, you know, um, counseling or talk to your friend, talk to your doctor, talk to your mom, your uncle, your sister, whoever you're comfortable talking to. I, I will guarantee you it, it may look bad and you think that they may judge you, but you never know until you try. And that's the important thing. You never know until you try. So um, thank you once again, everyone, and uh, have a good night. Bye.